What up? Hello. Konnichiwa. Hey. Um, yeah, it's been a minute since I've done some videos here. I've been in kind of a code tunnel. I've been working on the crunch time aspects of finishing Songbringer, getting it ready for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and all that stuff has to be done way, like months in advance of the game's release. So um, basically what's great about all this is that Songbringer is kind of over the hump at this point. There's really not going to be too many huge gameplay changes and nothing's really going to change that that significantly from now on most of it's going to be refinements and bug fixes and stuff so i just want to do a quick little catch-up video and kind of share a lot of the things i've been working on over the past couple weeks just in case you know um just to give you kind of a, an update basically um one really exciting thing i this is something i really really love is you can you can enter a blank world seed at the beginning and it will generate a world seed for you based on um, if there's a two-thirds chance it will be based on a dictionary value which is a custom dictionary so I went through and like picked like 2,000 specific words that kind of you know well I didn't actually pick all of them but I added I customized the list afterwards but anyways um, if you just press enter right here it gives you a word. I don't even know what that means. What does Volary mean? Oops, it's not like a dirty word. A large cage for confining birds? Wow. And then if you want to delete it, enter another one. And then the third time you do it, it will actually be a random combination of letters. And then it moves back, so the next two are going to be... What is this? Oh, we're relating to uranium? Some of these words are a bit, like, obscure, aren't they? God, that's a great one. So, um, that's a sweet little feature, right? I love that. It's so great when you're starting a game and you don't have any idea of what you want to do. Or maybe you just want to be surprised. Maybe you're like, I don't know what world I want to do tonight, but uh, let's do something new. Um, so let me show you something else that's pretty cool. I've made a lot of improvements to Player 2's um, role in the game. There used to be a few items which were kind of unfair, especially when you got Vel, especially the speed booster. So the speed booster used to just affect Jib. You got that and Jib's like twice as fast. He's super cool that way. But it didn't affect Jib's or Vel, so if you got, let's say you're playing the World Seed Vel, which you actually start with Vel. Um, or maybe you got Vel really early on, you accidentally got the kill bombs or something like that super early on. Maybe you don't even have to get to Songbringer's Dungeon to do that. Um, Vel now is affected by the speed booster. So basically the speed booster just affects player two in general, which is great. Um, and then secondly, um, Jib's shield is in, if you craft Jib's shield with like fire, ice, lightning, poison, fear, any of the elements, um, and then Jib dies and you get Vel. Um, basically, Jib's shield elements will in be inherited to Vel. So, um, Jib, uh, so yeah, basically, let me, let me just, whoa, what the heck happened? What? That was crazy. It just like burned a bush and then all of a sudden he's, everything's dead. Oh, this is, um, so I'm just taking note of this. But yeah, let me get in there and I'll show you what I mean about Jib Shield. Oh, another cool thing is that Jib Shield, um, Jib will actually actively use it. So let's let me show you that again. Um, if Jib is near something that he can use his shield on, he will use his shield on it. And probably the best way to, to show that, here, this will work. It'll light those on fire. And see, he can even get through stuff now pretty cool but let me show you what I mean when he's got it like his ice shield this is really great because this is something that was blocking you or at least it was stopping me from ever crafting Jib's ice shield or, or poison shield because those two things are gate items there's water which is a gate item and there's the acid pillars which are a gate item and both those things Jib didn't ever use his shield on them but now he will so if he, Jib is over some water he'll just use his ice shield so all you've really got to do if you if you are blocked by some water and you want to get across it and jib has you've crafted your shield 
jib shield with um, ice, all you gotta do is just coerce jib to get over near that, whatever it is, and he will use his shield. So that's pretty neat. Um, let me show you what I mean by um, Vel inheriting that. So let's do Vel, let's say we had Jib's Ice Shield. Um, actually a pretty obvious one is the Fire Shield. Let's just show that. So we got just Vel, but we have the Ice Shield crafted. Um, so now Vel's gonna have whatever elements that Jib had. So let's find some enemies and she'll shoot them and freeze them. Oh, fire them up, yeah. So there you go. Jib's, or Vel's attack now has that. And you can tell Vel's a bit faster right now because that's we have the speed booster as well, so. Yeah, some improve improvements to player two stuff. Let me see if there's anything else that's kind of like super noteworthy worth talking about. Um, I'm just going to close this video down here in a second because I just want to make this a quick one showing some of the newer stuff. I mean, other than that, it's been a tons of fixes, tons of fixes and refinements, a lot of boss improvements. Um, uh, and all of these are just mostly like tweaks just to make the bosses more fun, um, perhaps less challenging, sometimes more challenging. Some of the, you know, some bosses need this or that. This is pretty neat. Making sure that the world, the overworld has guaranteed 32 plus overworld secrets. Before it was, the overworld only had like around 16 or so, it depended on the world, but it, it was 16 to 24 or so secrets. So there's a lot of secrets which were unused. And a lot of secret areas where you'd like, you'd, whoa, yes, I just found a secret area. All right, I can't believe I found that. And then you get inside and there's nothing in it. That was a disappointment. So this is pretty neat that that's complete. All the secrets are now complete. So no matter what, if you find a secret on the overworld, it's going to have something in it. Um, all the achievements are done. Oh, yeah, the cactus cactus having diminished sounds now so if, if the cactus if you if you eat a bunch of cactuses right really fast in a row um, the effect is diminished so the second time you eat it your invincibility doesn't last as long but you still get as much health but anyways now it's more obvious it makes a sound a different sound when it's a diminished effect so that's a little bit clearer oh another huge thing that's really really awesome is that enemies healing is now more clear so when an enemy actually gets healed from like from your elements for example like the lightning boss if you hit the lightning boss with a lightning element attack she will heal from it same thing with the fire boss if you hit the fire boss with fire he heals um, that's a lot clearer now before there were these tiny little red pluses and it was very difficult to see especially in the heat of battle or when there's like tons of lightning and other effects going on the screen. Now it actually shows a demon's tooth above the enemy's head or your head when you heal. So it's just much more clear and intuitive that the enemy is being healed or that you're being healed. Oh, this is pretty big too. Muffles, the music muffles when you're near secrets. So that is, it's, it's to me it's like painfully obvious as the designer of the video game now that, um, that secrets are, let me show you what I mean. Um, see if you can find a secret somewhere. In fact, should I go to a secret that I know of? To me, what I'm saying is, to me it's painfully obvious, but I'm pretty sure that to players this will be not obvious. Actually, if I had the fire top hat, it would really help to find some secrets. Or we just go to a dungeon. Yeah, so when you're near a secret, the music will muffle a bit. Um, and you really have to pay attention to make, to, to hear it. So it's not too obvious.
last one. Okay, so you can hear. Can you? Let me turn the music up just to make sure. Okay, it's maybe not as obvious in this room. But if I'm standing over here, and then I come to here, you can definitely hear the music is muffled. Let's do it more in this room though. Yeah, this is a lot more obvious. Okay, so we're standing here. We're gonna get right about here and you can tell the music is muffled. So it's kind of a subtle thing, but it really, it does a couple things. Number one, it helps you to kind of focus on the game a bit. For me at least, it kind of helps me give, there's something interesting about the music now in the sense that if I pay attention, I can tell where secrets are, which is a really cool bonus when you're traveling around the overworld and you find diamonds or cactus containers or something like that. And also in the dungeons, you can kind of like quickly tell if you're, you know, if you're paying attention to the audio, you can, you can tell there's something there. So. That's it for this video. I just want to do a quick update and show you what's some of the new stuff. And uh, now that I'm kind of over the hump of getting the game ready for it's, you know, as ready as it is now, there's still months left of work to do, but um, now that I'm over this hump, I can kind of get back in and do some more videos and stuff. So that's it.